hello guys so in this lecture we will discuss about sparse matrix and how to implement sparse matrix in python and i hope you all know this is a very important topic in machine learning so first see what is sparse matrix okay so if most of the elements of a matrix have zero value then we call it sparse matrix means you you already know what is matrix okay we have rows columns that cross section that forms a matrix but in that matrix if maximum of the elements are having zero value then we'll call it as a sparse matrix now what are the benefits of using sparse matrix the two major benefits of using sparse matrix instead of a simple matrix are one is storage point of view and another is computing time point of view now what is that benefit regarding storage point of view is that there are lesser non-zero elements than zeros and thus lesser memory can be used to store only those non-zero elements okay so less storage will be required then what is regarding computing time point of view is that computing time can be saved by logically designing a data structure traversing only the non zero elements so that computing time will also be lesser because we can design a data structure just to traverse only the non zero elements so these are the two benefits now where we use sparse matrix as i have already told you that sparse matrices are commonly used in applied machine learning such as in data containing data encodings that map categories to count and even in whole subfields of machine learning like natural language processing there also we use this sparse matrices so that's why this this is a very important topic now how to implement sparse matrices in python in python we have skype provides tools for creating sparse matrices using multiple data structures as well as tools for converting a dense matrix to a sparse matrix okay dense matrix to a sparse matrix from a, that is means from a regular matrix to a sparse matrix now the sparse matrix representation outputs the row and column tuple where the matrix contains the non zero values along with those values so this means what we will output those rows and column tuple where those non zero values are there because we we already know that there are maximum number of zeros in that matrix so we just want to show only the non zero values where they lie in that matrix for that we will use csr csr compress sparse row for first row slicing faster matrix vector products okay now let's come to the coding part please take a screenshot of this because this will help you to implement this okay see import numpy as np we are importing numpy and you know that the array based calculations we do with the help of numpy and we are importing an instance of it that is np then from skype.sparse we are importing csr matrix thus i have told you what is csr matrix that is compressed sparse row for fast row slicing okay we are taking it from skype sparse so these two are very important first numpy and the second skype let's create a 2d representation of the matrix with the help of np as you know np is used for array based operations so we are creating a 2d representation this is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 3 0 0 1 then 0 0 3 0 okay now let's print this dense matrix representation we'll print this one then let's convert into sparse matrix representation so csr matrix we are using we are inputting this matrix then we are trying to print it sparse matrix form of it okay then that sparse matrix form means this will output only those row column tuple where the non zero values will lie in that matrix okay then again we are converting back this as to a dance form for that we will use two dance function that is 
as you know s contains that sparse matrix representation now we are converting it back to dance matrix so s dot 2 dance and that being assigned to b now let's print the dance matrix with the help of print function dance matrix dance matrix then b i hope each and every line of this code is clear to you now i will show you the implementation in python with the help of our spider just a minute i am opening it see i have written down this code this lines of course to implement sparse metrics as i have already illustrated each line of this code i hope there is no problem to understand the same okay so let's execute one by line import num ps and p from skype.parse sparse we are importing this csr matrix let's create this 2d representation of this matrix with the help of np i have created it now let's print this dance representation see this is the dance representation you can find this one zero non-zero element only once in every row now let's convert it to sparse matrix representation so i'm converting it now i'm printing the sparse matrix now let's try to understand its output see zero zero one this means this is the row zero and column zero so zero zero has the value non-zero value one isn't it easy to understand yes it is and it is taking less space also then this tree this is tree is lying first Okay, you don't confuse. I am considering zero from index from zero. So this is the, although this is second row, so I this will be zero one. Okay, this will be one. As I am starting from zero, so this is one and this is what two. As it is starting from zero, so three becomes two. So one two. So that will have three and similarly this will be what one five. Okay, that will have one and then last one. That is second and three, two, three, that is three. Clear? So I hope this output is clear. Now let's convert it back to the dance matrix form with two dance and then let's spin the dance matrix form again. So that's it. I hope this video clears you your concept regarding sparse matrix and its implementation in Python. And believe me, this is very important because we frequently use this in our machine learning and NLP. So if you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to ask me through a comment. We'll meet in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. I'm signing out.